love entrepreneurs, and no matter what time of year, Mark, we always have entrepreneurs on Mind Your Own Business. And you're going to tell us about an, another entrepreneur that we've brought on? Yes, Jeff. Uh, first of all, this has been a great show, and it's, it's been a lot of fun being with you. Um, ben Bassey is the uh, president of Commonplaces eSolutions, and, and uh, Ben's going to talk about um, his company and what he's do doing with uh, mobile applications and how to really uh, use the Internet and, and phones. And can you tell us more about, Ben, your company and how you Welcome get started? Welcome, Ben. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you. I, I enjoy being here. Um, I don't know yeah. why people say it before we interview them and drill them. Oh, it's exciting. You have to say Just thank being you out right there the in the end. lobby and everything else and seeing all It was all that free food that we brought, right? I didn't I missed that part. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why it's all the free. refreshments. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The water's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no uh, my company, Commonplaces, is a, we do professional services, web development, build web applications. And, and what's really going on right now is this whole mobile thing. Right. It's just a lot of stuff going on with mobile. Very exciting time. And uh, it, it's, it's kind of caught people by surprise. It's just you walk around, everybody's got a tablet, smartphone, right? something going on. So we've been working a lot with people and trying to figure out with business owners, you know, what do you do? You know, it's another big fad. A lot of people missed out on the, a big part of the Internet, so they don't want to miss out on this thing. And what right. should they be doing? That's a good way to put it. A lot of people were slow with uh, building their websites, and they realize that that's now, you know, uh, it's still a tactic, It's but it's not the dominating tactic anymore. They're, they're on to a new technology. I mean, sure, take a look at, uh, at Barnes & Noble. They, 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 had, they owned the book market, and Amazon just came in and beat them to the punch. And, well, and, with and millions became, and billions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, when mobile is the same thing. It's happening right now very fast. Right. It's actually growing faster than, than what we saw the initial Internet grow. Wow. Right now. It's, it's amazing. Matter of fact, uh, they'll, ship, they'll ship more uh, mobile devices, tablets and smartphones so, than PCs this year. So you're yeah. sitting in a room with entrepreneurs. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us what you can do to make us more successful. Well, what you got to do is you've you got to get in, in the mobile market. And right. people are really confused. But uh, the mobile market, you, you know, you've got apps. You, do you build apps? Do you build a mobile website? What do you do? How do you play in the game? Um, I, I think that the smartest thing is uh, to, to, you know, people buy with mobile devices far more than they do with PCs. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, that an a, is that age uh, skewed in any way? I, I think it's the iTunes thing. You right. Know, oh, right. Think about it. People started paying for iTunes, and, and they were a buck. And now more people are buying iTunes than well, Look CDs. at my credit card. It's 49 cents, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael, but, what did you buy on iTunes this uh, month? You know, but it, <laughs> you know, but it adds up. It's micropayments. Right. See, the, they nibble. There's a lot of nibbling, and it adds up to millions and billions of dollars. I always tell people you win with singles. You do. You win with singles, and that's the whole thing. And people with tablets buy more than people with phones. Right. So they're buying a lot. You know, in fact, you know, one out of four people – make six purchases uh, every six months. And it's a lot. You know? Wow. And 70, 80% of the people are buying with these devices where only 20 or 30% are buying with PCs. So if you have a business, you need to get in there and you need to be doing something. But you also have to understand, they're not buying big, they're buying smaller. So don't, you know, don't put the whole big catalog on there, uh, but realize that people are buying and they're buying, buying quickly and they're buying more. And there's going to be more people on, on these devices than PCs. So, again, you know. you're coming into my business. Let's say I'm a yep. consulting business. And just as an example for our listeners, what are you, what are you going to do with me? What, how are you going to organize me and talk to me? Well, you're, you're a consulting business. You know, probably one of the best things to do is make it uh, so people can make their payments to you online. You know, with, with their devices. I, I don't even yeah. care if they work with me. They can just pay yeah. me online. Just pay me online. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just just pay. No, right. have the ability to pay online. Make it easy for people to pay you. Wow. Um, I know. I know. In professional services, collections is is, is, is right. everything. We, we all have to deal with. Oh, right? cash right. is the, cash we're, is we're always paying the by answer. The hour right. And and we need to get paid. And if you make it easier for people to pay you, isn't that a good thing? Right. 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 Absolutely. So that's, that's definitely something you can do. I think the big thing with people is, do I do a website? Do I do an app? That's the big thing. You know, what should I do? And you can design either of those things. We do them both, yeah. yeah. Our website's commonplaces.com. We, we, we do all this stuff for people. But the big thing is, you know, do I, do I, do I build an app? What do I build an app for? Right. You know, and most people don't need an app, but they think they do. 
you know, you, you need an app if it's you're doing something specialized that, you know, if you're, you know, like Southwest Airlines needs an app. Do right? I need an app for my book? I don't think so. Okay, thank you. I don't think you need an app for that. Well, only my family's reading it, so. Well, how come? <laughs> well, you know what? You, you should put maybe put some of your book online, though, so that people Absolutely. can bring it up on an iPhone. That's the big thing, you know. If you no, put you it online, is it optimized? Yeah, you'll it's be able to buy it. You'll be able to buy it on the, the iPad. There you go. Ben, so. how do you do your pricing? Like, obviously, we have some entrepreneurs that are very small business people, and obviously the larger companies. So, when you're coming in, um, how do you do your pricing? Do you have different levels, different structures? Uh, for my company yes. itself, yes, for both companies. Yeah. Um, what What we do is. Um, we're a professional services company, and it really comes down to very highly trained, skilled engineers that, that are, are built out by the hours. So the more complex the project, the more hours that you have involved. So it's a very, very simple model. Um, we do offer packages for people that, that, you know, that are doing things that are fairly common, you know, where they can get in at a lower price level. Excellent. Doing that. But the people, a lot of people want customization. They want it specialized to what they're doing. They don't want vanilla. Right. And so by that, you have to. Re- it's more of an hourly type thing. Okay. Excellent. And uh, how did you get into this uh, business? Have you always been in this space, or what? Uh, what led you down this uh, path? Well, I, I, I did deal with Al Gore in the early days. So I, uh, <laughs> that's my, my joke all the time. <laughs> No, I've been doing the internet for a really long time. Started with the Department of Defense projects a long, long time ago. And then I was one of the founding members of Lycos oh, wow. and Firefly. So I've been doing this thing for close to 20 years now. Excellent. And, and being involved with the internet, yeah, for a long time. It's always, always fascinated me. Excellent. From the very beginning. We all know what uh, Lycos, that really uh, was, talk about timing and it's how, how that grew. It was know? amazing. Uh, Bob Davis, amazing guy who led that, and what a great team. And, and it was, uh, you know, it was all the things we talked about in the past are happening now. Right. And more so. Right. And more so. Yeah. You know, with, w- with this resolution, with these devices. Yeah. It was, it was a, uh, it was a um, prediction, I don't know, the, a, a leader of, of things to come. You know, it was. In terms of, yeah. Yeah, it, it's changed everything. I mean, when you think in terms of uh, the economy and, and especially as w- with kids and stuff and how they communicate, there's a lot of changes with all these devices. Right. Now, um, are you, when you're, when you're doing uh, this type of work, is it just for businesses or do you work with uh, nonprofits and do you do some work with government? Or what? We've, we do a lot of nonprofit work, but primarily we are working with businesses, uh, small, medium businesses. You know, it, it's a great way for them to compete. You know, it, it really, when you think about it, if you're a small, medium business, you get into these devices and into the Internet, it's a great way for you to compete against the big guys. Right. It's more, you know, because you can do a lot of things where, you know, in the traditional world, it's your storefront and it's where you're located. So uh, you can really use these tools to be competitive and get your ser- products and services out there. Excellent. Wow. Uh, so how did you get into this? What did you do before? Um, I was always, I actually, I, I, I was a chemical engineer and I did uh, computer science in college and I was always on the computer front. So when the internet stuff came, came about, I was, um, just happened to be in the right place at the right time and, uh, got very involved with it in very early stages and was very fascinated by it, you know, long, long time ago. So, and every day I'm more fascinated by it. So I've just been in it for a long time. Excellent. Uh, if somebody wanted to get hold of you to learn more about this, is I think this is a obviously this is a exploding field, and everybody it needs is. to know more about it. How would they get hold of you? Well, a lot of a lot of the presentations and things I do are on our website, which is commonplaces.com, and my email address is ben at commonplaces.com. So you know, feel free to email me. I love doing speaking engagements, you know, talking about it, coming out with guys like you, and and getting into this stuff is and really great. And could you come back and tell Excellent. us about some cases and so maybe how you've solved certain problems for people, business problems? Oh, I'd problems. love to. I'd love to. Those can, are fun. Those you, are fun. Is it possible to get one from you today before you go? Business cases, yeah. Just one <laughs> a particular situation where a company had a problem and how you helped them solve it? Yeah. Um, well, right now, what we're doing right now is is for the MLS system, for example, you know, the, the real source. Sure. We're building an online training and certification system so that they can do all their training and certification online, and it'll be on mobile devices and iPads for all the realtors. And, you know, that's something that, that changes their industry, uh, makes it, you know, much easier for a realtor to get certified and get up and running right, a lot because, quicker. Right, because today re- realtors have um, the, the testing and uh, just the, the levels to become a realtor are, are yeah. uh, more, more and more difficult. 
Yeah. So that helps. Yeah, and another, another situation we're doing right now is for a child's website. You know, it's, you're worried about children getting on the Internet. So we've developed this facial recognition technology, and it's, it's being moved down to the mobile devices right now, too, where the parent takes a picture of the child, and then that's the authentication. And we have a site called whatswhat.me, which is all about kids, and it pr it's a protected environment based upon this facial recognition software interesting wow. yeah. very ben, interesting we really appreciate yeah. your coming in that's an important well. category we hope you have continued success and we hope everybody contacts you on our website on your website and that uh, things go well for you and good luck with your book i uh, i'm looking forward to reading it uh, i appreciate maybe i'll that. get a signed copy before i leave right <laughs> uh, i have to have more copies next uh, ben it was a pleasure thank you so much for coming on and again for our listeners and go on to also myob the radio show.com to hear more about ben's comments and we'll find you on youtube too uh, hopefully Absolutely. within the next week or so because we're going to put you up there too so uh, mark i know uh, we got a tight schedule today so we're going to take another break but don't turn off your radios now because there's more stories about entrepreneurs after this commercial break. Thank you.